Hey guys, welcome back to Home Performance Homestead in Atlanta. We are inside the Building Performance Workshop, the actual physical space that is the beautiful thing of controlling all of the invisible dynamics that we talk about all the time on this channel. And by the way, early plug, subscribe, because this is gonna be awesome. We're gonna keep on doing stuff at this place. First of all, this building is an outdoor shed. It is not conditioned. And in fact, bugs are allowed to come in here because I love animals and that's fine with me. Um, this space is not okay for the bugs to go into. So this is gonna be airtight, membrane, tapes. This is the same exact stuff that we used. Sorry, there's actual construction work going on on site as you can see from my getup and from the, uh, my helper. This is the same stuff that we use on the Tiny Lab. If you wanna see all of that, we have over 50 videos on the Tiny Lab playlist on the YouTube channel. So check that out. Um, that's for an actual house. This room is gonna be dehumidified but not conditioned. So the slab is likely gonna be a heat sink and it's gonna make it a little cooler on hot days and a little warmer on cold days, but it's not gonna be like air conditioned or heated. This airtight membrane and tape system from 475 High Performance Building Supply, uh, which is an importer in the US of amazing stuff from overseas. And that's the stuff that you want because of the features of this. Now it's gonna give you air tightness, which is awesome, but it does not have to be I know, it doesn't have to be tight. Um, it can be loose, that's okay, because you don't wanna be ripping all the staples out of here. The way that you put this on is we got two courses. They're each five feet wide, the roll is. So you put on the bottom course, just like shingling, as you would a roof or flashing. Put on the bottom, and you're gonna staple at the top. Then you're gonna put on the next layer and you're gonna have it overlap so that my staples for the first layer, you can see the first layer here, my staples are up here, then I'm gonna tape beautifully over that. So the staple holes don't matter. This uh, material has been certified as an air tightness material by the Passive House Institute. And Passive House, in case you don't know, is the most uh, very stringent building certification in the entire world. We are building the building the right way. So once we have this place totally airtight, and by the way, let me show you this, come on in. Uh, this is my door. So once you're inside the space, you can see that there is no sheathing before I put on the membrane. So this Solatex Mento is on just over air, basically. If I have a stud to press against, that's great. I'll show you the technique of putting on this tape. Uh, in a second, but we have the framing, which is 24 inches on center, two by fours, two by sixes in the ceiling, uh, bolted down to the concrete. That was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. I had a nice uh, hammer drill and it's not that hard to do. So those are concrete anchors. This thing is not going anywhere at this point. It's shy of the ceiling, so it's not gonna be pressing up against the, the uh, top of the, the shed, the workshop here. But uh, the way you would do this in a house is you would have sheathing on first, the, the uh, plywood or OSB that would be here, and then you would put all of this membrane on over that so you'd have a nice solid something backing to press the tape against so you're sure you have a nice airtight seal. There's another way to do it, which is what we had to use because we don't have that. The cladding that I'm gonna put on this shed is going to be 3 8 inch plywood because I don't care how it looks on the outside, I care how it performs. I want this space to be perfectly dry and perfectly uh, cool temperature-wise, as in the fluctuations, so that I can keep all of my test equipment in here, all the tools that we need to be building the house. So nothing too special about the framing in here. All you have to do is you got your handy-dandy staple gun. I like a pneumatic staple gun because it's a lot more long-lasting than the silly little things that you get that are electric at the big box stores. You just put this up, and when you're ready to put it in place, bam, and now you've got it attached. And this thing is gonna go all day long like that. I love it, it's a very neat little piece of equipment. Uh, so, let's go around back and check out this tape. Around all sides of this dry vault, where we're gonna keep the tools, uh, is a roughly three foot hallway so that I can get to all sides of it, make sure that there aren't uh, bugs like termites that I might care about getting out of here um, and to make sure that everything is still clean and neat because I want this to be a beautiful church for tools. Uh, now, in order to make this truly airtight, you need a sill gasket. So at the very bottom of this membrane, I need to actually adhere this membrane to the concrete, not to the bottom plate of my wall because there's that gap between the wood 
and the concrete, and that is gonna be an air leakage point. So I have two different options, again, from 475 High Performance Building Supply. We have an adhesive that's like a caulk applied adhesive, which is cool if you like caulking. I'm not really a fan. There is this also. Uh, and now uh, these can, if they are applied in the right way, be what's called a capillary break. We're not gonna worry about that today because my uh, slab is not gonna be taking on a lot of water. I'm not right at the edge of the slab where you would care about a capillary break maybe. Um, it's just to keep water that's in the one material from going up into the secondary material. Now we will be doing that on the house that we're gonna be building and stay tuned for that obviously. Now this is gonna go right down here at the bottom so I have to give myself enough play to be able to do this and come this way, follow the trail of paper from my tape. Safety first, everybody. No toddlers on a construction site. I just wanna make sure that that's perfectly clear. Now, what's cool about all of this material, by the way, that's all from Proclima, it was just one company, is that this membrane and this tape are the same material, basically. So, what we have here is uh, advanced technique for applying this over no backing. I have air in here, that's pretty floppy, I don't like that, so what I'm gonna do is grab my tape, I'm gonna find the next stud in line, Get it so that I'm overlaying the dotted line, which means I am also overlaying the bottom layer, and I pull my backing off, which is why I have a huge trail of backing all the way around my little building here. Now that's not all. You also need to squeegee, because this stuff will stick incredibly well for 100 years, and if you wanna see the proof of how incredibly tough this stuff is, check out those tiny lab videos because I walked on this material for about three months solid and did all the construction-y stuff to it and it didn't actually get any holes in it. So once that's totally on there and I've got it, uh, I, I may be ripping staples out, not important anymore because now that I've got the tape, that's all that matters. I'm gonna move to the next step, into the next step, and the next step until I've totally wrapped the entire building, do the bottom uh, bit and then keep on going up toward the top do the roof so I have one monolithic layer, one sheet blanket that's gonna wrap the entire thing perfectly airtight. Then I have to worry about the doors. The door weather stripping then does become an issue. For those of you who think you have door weather stripping issues in your house, you don't, unless you have already taken care of all of the other air leaks around the house because the door weather stripping is the last place you ever have to worry about. It. I will. So we're gonna get to that uh, once we get to the door procedure. I'm gonna show you the inside, which is gonna be Intello, same company, different material. Check that out um, when it comes out. Again, subscribe to the channel to get automatically notified. Go to our buildingformanceworkshop.com website and check that out. Go ahead and join my email list if you wanna be notified as well. And I hope that you tune in next time.